Hi guys, this is Victor from RevAutomation.io and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Bing, which is one of the most popular search engines in the world, to be able to get data for different um, activities in terms of lead generation. So first of all, the first thing you need to do is sign up for a free trial account. Uh, the link is in description. Uh, and then head over to this page, which is also in description. This is the landing page, it explains to you how it works, and it tells you some of the information you can capture and how to use it. But I'm gonna dive straight in and click the use for free button. This brings you into the web automation in app. Um, and all you need to do here is activate a new one and that adds it to your account. Uh, once you've done that, you need to head over to Bing to get a link. Now I'm going to search for uh, grocery stores in London. Okay, I've done that. And then I need to head over to the maps. Uh, and that's gonna take me into the Bing Maps view with the list of all uh, restaurants or, or all grocery stores in London. Um, and I'm just going to copy that URL, head back into uh, web automation, replace it, uh, update the link. That's it, I've added my starter links. Um, just gonna put some configurations and put in 10, just so we can get the data pretty quickly. And, and that's it, I've done step two, which is to uh, put in the starter URL from Bing. Once that's done, Step three is to run the extractor now, which I'm going to do. And that's it. Um, that's all you need to do. And the extractor is running now. And in a few seconds, we're going to get our data from Bing. And then we can look at the data in a spreadsheet uh, and see if that matches to our expectations. Uh, so as you can see, just uh, 19 seconds, and it's extracted two pages and 17 rows from um, Bing. Uh, now we have the option to download as a CSV, XML, XLS, JSON, or uh, JSON line. I'm going to use XLS, as this is uh, something I have opened already. So now we'll have a look at the file. This is the file opened, and then we can see store names, the URL if possible, the address, the phone number, a rating, and obviously the timestamp. So uh, very quickly, I've shown you how you can use uh, Bing Maps to scrape uh, data. Obviously, this is a very generic search. You might want to do some more specific search uh, to get a targeted list of uh, in the locations, restaurants, or, or whichever um, leads you're trying, trying to generate. Okay, um, I'm gonna head back into Web Automation tool um, and show you some other things you can do with our tool. So once you have downloaded the first data, you can rerun, you can change the input, uh, or you can even use some more complex tool uh, settings and features like the integrate, uh, or run recurring tasks, et cetera, or even use our API. So thank you guys very much for uh, watching, and I'm really happy to have shown you how you can use Bing uh, to generate some leads by extracting data from the maps without writing any code in just a few seconds. I'd love to see what you guys are doing on Bing, and I'll catch you at the next video.